In this video, I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of my favorite tool in Fusion. How could you even pick a favorite? Well, I can't. We got our mountain background here. I like this mountain background, okay? But I'm about to show you my favorite tool. Are you ready? Are you ready? Drum roll, please. I think my favorite tool in Fusion is just gonna be this second one right here, Fast Noise. If you haven't played with Fast Noise, dang it, it's so useful. Well, let's bring him out here real quick. Let's bring this boy out for a little demonstration. If I hit one on the keyboard, I can bring this up in our left viewer. And here we have some blurry white blotches. I mean, this should be self-explanatory why it's my favorite. Not really? Uh, okay. Well, what fast noise does is it generates clouds or smoke or fog or anything that's, I mean, basically vapor, right? And we can get a little better idea of what this looks like if we take this detail slider up a little bit. Here we go. Maybe I'll go to color and bring up this alpha real quick. There we go. So this makes these clouds. And I mean, super useful if you want to actually have a picture of clouds and you don't just have one laying around, you can generate them. But it also lets you do quite a few other fancy things. Of course, you can adjust the scale of the clouds. You can seethe them. So they kind of do this little animation thing. You can even push up the seethe rate so that when you play this back, they automatically animate. And yeah, there are a few different options here to change how these clouds look. We can go into color and change the colors just like you would expect. But yeah, it's clouds, who cares, right? Well, let me reset this real quick. And I'll take this fast noise and I'm just gonna merge it over our background image here. And boom, we have instant fog, okay? If we wanna make it a little sharper, we can select fast noise, push up the detail a little bit, maybe push down the scale. We got some fog going. We could even grab a mask and mask this noise add a little soft edge here. And now we just have ground fog or, you know, clouds or whatever. So simple to add such a cool effect to any kind of shot. And this could be animated shots, this could be whatever. But we can use this fast noise texture for more than just literally making clouds. We can use this as a mat for other things to give it a little bit more natural look. For instance, let's just take this noise out of here. Now I'll put some text over this. We'll have our nice text title here. And I can use this fast noise and just plug this into the mask input of my merge. And I can use this noise to change the transparency of my text. I can push up the contrast of my noise to make parts of this more opaque and less opaque. And I can see this until it looks just the way I want. And that's just a quick way to add a lot of style without even having to have a texture. I can use the same basic technique to do some dodging and burning. Maybe I'll take this fast noise and let's make this black and I'll push up the detail and the scale just so we can see it a little better. And now we have these kind of black clouds over things, which we can mask with something like, I don't know, an ellipse and I can invert this ellipse and soften it out. And now we have a little bit more kind of splotchy vignette and it isn't just a uniform color change this merge to multiply. And again, I can change with the detail and the scale of this fast noise to make this more or less obvious for our vignette. And so it's a really nice way to add things that are more kind of natural, organic looking. Speaking of that, I'll use another fast noise. And this time, let's actually use this text. Let's combine this fast noise with a displace node, DISP. I'll hold shift and just drag this in here like this. And I can take this fast noise and put that into the green input of the displace. And that will use that noise as a displacement map. And so now as I push up this refraction strength with our displacement map, and I can adjust the scale and everything of my noise, that will let me kind of break this up a little bit. Maybe a little more detail, get this a little bit more rugged. Let's take this refraction strength down just a touch. Now we're displacing our text and making it look a little bit more rough. And we didn't have to do anything fancy. We're just using this displace effect and using our fast noise as a map for how much displacement is happening. So more displacement happens when it's brighter and less when it's darker. And so as I adjust this scale, it adjusts how big or little the roughness on these letters is. Very, very cool. That's the thing about fast noise is you can add all these textures and do all these crazy things just with masks and fast noise and a couple other effects. And if you're creative, you don't necessarily need to bring in a grunge texture or anything like that. You can just generate it with fast noise. So pretty cool tool to make awesome stuff in Fusion. I hope this was helpful and inspiring for you. Hey, if you're a content creator learning Fusion, make sure to check out the Fusion Survival Guide. That is a free video course that is available now and you can learn all kinds of cool little tips about Fusion. Okay, happy trails. I don't know why I said happy trails, but whatever.